Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. So Virgo, I'm going to do a message for the singles. We're going to take a look at your next relationship. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. These messages are timeless. So whenever you click on the video, that's when the message could resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to go ahead and tap in. Spirit, give me some messages for Virgo. What's the energy? Messages for Virgo. What would you like for Virgo to know at this time? What is the energy? The next relationship. What would you like for Virgo to know at this time? What is the energy? Their next relationship. What is the message? I have proposal, marriage, bottom of the deck, organic growth. All right, Virgo, beautiful energy. So let's tap in and see what the message is. Spirit, give me some energy for... Virgo, what is the message? Why is proposal and marriage here for Virgo? What would you like for them to know about proposal and marriage for their next relationship? What is the energy? Okay. I have the five of wands in the reverse. So Virgo, I feel like your next relationship is going to be easy. You're not going to have to force it. I feel like it's just going to flow. There's not going to be a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. I feel like you and this person are going to be able to really work together. For some of you, you may meet this person at work. I'm also seeing like some type of collaboration as well. Give me an energy for a proposal slash marriage. Why is this here for Virgo? Why is proposal slash marriage here for Virgo? What is the energy? What would you like for Virgo to know? Justice in the reverse and the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So for some of you, this person would have just gotten out of a relationship or a commitment. Justice, um, Libra energy, tell me more. Something was just a waste of time. It just did not pan out the way this person desired it to. Why is the five of wands here in the reverse? What is the message? I have the ace of cups in the reverse. Yeah. This person um, would have just recently given up on a connection where there was no love. Yeah, somebody's definitely going to um, suffer a love loss here. Give me an energy for the five of wands in the reverse. I have the high priestess in the reverse. So this is somebody that didn't listen to their intuition regarding a previous connection. It was a very loveless relationship. And this person invested a lot, but really didn't see a return on that investment. Pisces energy on the High Priestess in the reverse. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Now tell me more about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here in the reverse for Virgo? What is the energy? The Three of Wands in the reverse. So a lot of reversals. Yeah, something just didn't go anywhere. It really didn't pan out the way this person desired it to. Give me an energy for the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Virgo? This person just found himself or herself uh, stuck, very stagnant. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, this person was able to see the truth in whoever he or she was dealing with. It was a very... um toxic relationship it was like a black hole that's what this five of pentacles is giving me like a black hole that this person felt like they were never going to be able to get out of but he or she finally did i feel like you know the illusion was over the fairy tale was over i feel like the honeymoon phase of this relationship was very short-lived i feel like these people were like bicker back and forth a lot and this person got to the point where he or she didn't even interact anymore it's like Whenever their partner would fuss, they wouldn't even say anything. They're just going to the other room. They won't pay this person no mind, no attention at all. Give me an energy for the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Why is the Seven of Cups here? 
the Knight of Pentacles. Give me another message. I feel like whoever this energy was um, committed to definitely tried to keep up this illusion for a very long time. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse because somebody was very codependent. Something was just about stability. Somebody just tried to hold on to a connection because of the stability and that was it. I can't make this up because of the Ace of Pentacles. Whoever this masculine energy is or feminine, they are somebody who is very abundant, who has a lot materially. And that is the only reason why this Queen of Pentacles in reverse wanted to be in this connection. For some of you, this person could be an earth sign as well. But yeah, somebody was just extremely superficial here and it was all about, you know, the money, the status. Give me an energy for justice in the reverse. The three of cups in the reverse yeah um there's no reconciliation whoever this person is that's coming towards you um will not be reconciling with this past person i feel like it was a relationship that was primarily based on passion for some of you this person played an energy work to get this person to commit to her, to choose her. Somebody didn't want to be rejected. Somebody didn't want to be left out in the cold. They did not want this masculine energy to turn his back. So they did some energy work in order to ensure that this person stuck with them. Give me an energy for justice in the reverse. The six of wands. But it was unsuccessful in the end. Yeah, something just didn't work out and it wasn't meant to. Why is the three of cups in the reverse? What's the energy? Why is the Three of Cups in the reverse? What is the message? The King of Cups. Tell me more about the Three of Cups in the reverse. The Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So, Virgo. This is more of a backstory of what your person has endured, what they've been through. And I feel like just like I broke it down, this person is going to break it down just like that or in a very similar manner this is somebody who's going to be very open with you and they are going to disclose um whatever has taken place in this past relationship this is somebody who's going to be very honest about their experiences especially in the love department this is somebody who is looking for love king of cups this is somebody who is emotionally available. This is somebody who will speak their truth. You will never have to guess with this person. You're always going to know where you stand. Give me an energy for the six of wands in the reverse. This person is looking for something different. Give me an energy for the six of wands. This person is looking like for an actual wife, an actual spouse. I can't make this up. Yeah, the chariot. So for some of you, this person would have just gotten out of some type of commitment when they come towards you. Cancer energy on the chariot. Yeah, something just wasn't successful. It wasn't a victory. And this person wants their 10. Somebody wants to be happy. They want a real commitment. I feel like this person is being guided towards you. Something definitely is happening in divine timing. This is going to lead to a union. Sagittarius energy on temperance, Taurus energy on the Hierophant. Yeah, this is going to lead to a union here. I feel like whoever this person is walking away from is still going to be trying to do things to either get this masculine to be intimate with her or feel sorry for her, but it's not going to work. It's really not. I feel like somebody's just over it. They're done. Give me an energy on the chariot. Why is the chariot here for Virgo? What is the message? Why is the chariot here for Virgo? What's the energy? The next relationship. The seven of wands in the reverse. There's no restrictions here. I'm getting like somebody has freed themselves. So for some of you too, this is not going to resonate for everyone. This is a situation where um, you were already dealing with this person. Or there was some type of interaction between you and this masculine. But he was not able to be in a relationship with you. He wasn't able to give you a full commitment because he was already committed somewhere else. So with this person finally 
closing out this cycle with whoever this queen of pentacles is in the reverse this is somebody who is now ready to come towards you and give you a commitment give you an offer because in the past he couldn't because he was tied up with someone else either in a marriage or in a relationship But somebody had to surrender their Ace of Cups because of who they were already connected to. So this person is going to be free, unencumbered. This is somebody who's coming back, no strings attached. I'm ready to give love. I'm ready to be with you. Let's do it. This could be a Cancer masculine for some of you. Give me an energy for a proposal in marriage. Why is proposal in marriage here for Virgo? What is the energy? Why is proposal and marriage here for Virgo? What's the energy? For some of you too, this masculine was secretly married to whoever this queen of pentacles is in the reverse, but you didn't know anything about it. You may have just thought they were just dating, seeing each other, boyfriend and girlfriend, but for some of you, they were either secretly engaged or married and you had no clue. I have the five of cups in the reverse. Give me an energy for proposal and marriage. Why is this here? I feel like um, with this five of cups in the reverse, this is giving me like this masculine doesn't regret anything that he has experienced. I feel like he has a very optimistic outlook on the entire situation. Somebody seeing it as a learning experience. And then I'm hearing rejection was for your protection. So yeah, this person rejected you. This is somebody who rejected you. This is somebody from your past. But the reason why they rejected you was because they were dealing with somebody else. Could have chose to run off, go marry this person, start a life with this person. And that didn't work out. Or they were already connected to this energy. And things just were not able to move forward. But Spirit is saying like that rejection was your protection because there was somebody else in the picture that this person already had some type of commitment with. Yep, death. This person already had some type of commitment with this other person. That cycle was not over. Scorpio energy on death. Why is the Five of Cups here in the reverse? The Three of Swords. So I feel like even though this person is coming back towards you, Virgo, you're not going to care. <laughs> You're really not going to care. I feel like you've already healed from this situation. This was a third party situation. Yeah, and you really don't care. For some of you, you're not even going to care to hear whatever this person has to say. Because you're going to feel like, you know, somebody left you out in the cold. They went and started a life with another person just so it not to work out. And now they want to come back towards you. Spirit, give me an energy for death. Why is death in the reverse? Why is this here for Virgo? Why is death in the reverse here for Virgo? What is the message? Yeah, this person got connected to a gold digger. Ace of Wands. This is somebody that doesn't want something to be over. They want to start new with you. They want to start fresh. This person, for some of you, is willing to pursue you. Somebody's willing to chase after you. They want to be with you. They want a commitment. But like I said, I feel like you're in this nonchalant, I don't care energy. You're not really buying whatever this masculine is trying to sell you. Give me an energy for organic and growth. Confirmation, the train. Give me an energy for organic and growth. Why is organic and growth here for Virgo? What is the energy? Why is organic slash growth here for Virgo? What is the message? The Six of Swords. Okay, this person coming back. <laughs> this person is coming back towards you, Virgo. Whether you like it or not, whether you care or not, this person is coming back. This person has unfinished business with you or that's how he feels. Um, he wants something that's real. Whatever he had with that other person, it was fake. It was superficial. He 
he wants the real deal. This person is going to come and make you an offer. This person views you as the Empress. Libra Taurus energy as his wish fulfillment. He also sees you as somebody who has a very positive energy, very confident, and he's going to come back and tell you the truth. I feel like you're definitely not going to, you're not going to want to hear what this person has to say for some of you, especially after you find out that he actually went and committed to this energy, but he's still going to be honest anyway cuz somebody wants to start over from scratch. This is somebody who wants to put the past behind him and move forward. This person wants to commit to you. And I feel like this is a faded connection with the star to the higher offense. But this person ended up going the wrong way, choosing the wrong lover to be with. And it caused him a lot of burdens. But this person was blinded by lust, by passion. Let's pull some final messages. Spirit, give me some final messages for Virgo. What's the energy? Final messages for Virgo. Keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah. So I feel like you're very different from who this person will usually date. This masculine is used to dating people such as this queen of pentacles in the reverse. People who are very superficial. For some of you, you could be very spiritual, very much into, you know, um, natural remedies, natural herbs. You may, you know, wear your hair natural. It's like you are extremely different from whoever this queen of pentacles is. This could be somebody who, you know, will not leave the house without having her face be, you know, full lace front on like this is someone who likes to keep up appearances but you're just comfortable being yourself and this person realizes that like he is able to separate the real from fake this person was not open initially but after dealing with whoever this queen of pentacles in the reverse is now he definitely has an open mind. Look at this. Religious factors at the bottom of the deck. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah, so something has to do with belief system here. So for some of you, this person chose to commit to this other energy because of their belief system. They believed in the same thing. So you could be more spiritual and this person was brought up in a very strict religious background. And him and this Queen of Pentacles shared the same beliefs and was probably brought up in a similar background. I'm hearing Baptist for some of you. So that's why he chose this person. For some of you, this masculine don't know anything about spirituality and wasn't trying to learn. And then I'm hearing hoodoo, voodoo. For some of you, this person was brought up to think like it's negative. It's dark. You stay away from that. So this person could have thought that you were dark because of what you believed in. Yeah, it had a lot to do with belief systems here. That was the issue. But with attraction behind it, you're, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This person was still very attracted to you. It's just, you know, what you believed in, it was very different. And so this person was not able to put those differences aside in order to come into union with you or to just even give you a fair shot for some of you. For some of you, this person didn't even really give you a fair shot. He just chose the other person and went on to live his life. And that was a failure. But he is coming back. Give me one more. Spirit, give me one more message for Virgo. One more message for Virgo. What is the energy? What would you like for Virgo to know? Final message for Virgo. What's the energy? I feel like this masculine is going to be willing to prove himself. True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Yeah, so... Spirit said it is true love. 
Yeah, this person walked away from his Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, based on, you know, a belief system, based on, you know, superficial standards. Then we have passion, try something you've never done before. Yeah, again, somebody was very close-minded. That's why this person walked away. That's why this relationship didn't really go anywhere for some of you. But now he's ready to explore. Because somebody's definitely coming back your way, Virgo. <laughs> second chance behind that. And they want a second chance. They want to reconcile. For some of you, this is a past life soulmate. I feel like even though this person felt a very intense connection with you. They were too caught up on the differences. But they want to come back and make things right. But you have free will. But this person is coming back towards you. It's your choice. So Virgo, this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.